Hi, everybody. We're all, welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're live in Atlanta right now at the Sweetwater Brewery with Caitlin Tarver. Caitlin Tarver, thank you for joining us. Yay. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Congratulations to you. Uh, Subject to Change comes out a week from today. We're going to hear music from it. Um, yes. We're going to hear a ton of music from it today. What's, com what's happening first? The first song we're going to do is called Hurt Like That. Let's do it. I see it now See it so clearly You made it look easy to just walk out Like it was nothing How could I have known when you said you were in love that I believed you Now I see what it was You just wanted someone to Make you feel like someone new I was blinded Losing you was violence You just said goodbye I couldn't even fight it Broke my heart I thought I'd never get it back I want you to hurt like that Do you feel guilty and lie awake? Cause you can't live without me At least that's what you told me You said you were in love I hate that I believed you Now I see what it was You just wanted someone to Make you feel like someone new I was blinded Losing you was violence you just said goodbye, I couldn't even fight it Broke my heart, I thought I'd never get it back I want you to hurt like that I guess I wanted to hurt you Cause if it don't, did it matter at all, yeah if this love doesn't hurt you Then did our love even matter? I was blinded Losing you was violence You just said goodbye I couldn't even fight it Broke my heart I thought I'd never get it back I want you to hurt like that Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. You Woo. sound wonderful together. Thanks for bringing this music to us here today. Thanks so um, much for having been, me. Yeah, of course, man. We've been uh, warmly greeted by Sweetwater. This room sounds tremendous. It's a lot. I mean, it looks wonderful. I love shooting it. Right. Um, and we're drinking this tremendous beverage, which is a collaboration between Riff and Sweetwater, Sweetwater Riff. I'm going to drink this right now to remedy the fact that I haven't been drinking in at least the last 15 minutes. So I'm going to drink yes. this now. This is your first one. <laughs> yeah. This is your first yeah. one of the night. Exactly. This is number one. Um, so collaboration has been a theme of this entire week. Can you explore and talk a little bit more about the collaboration between yourself and Andrew Tufano and Andrew Tufano's glorious hair? Oh my God. Well, I wish I had something to do with his hair, uh, but I don't. That's all, that's all you. Well, the hair that I feel like is behind everything for right. me for my you, life. Really? Like, yes, so. that is true. But uh, no, I'm a huge fan of collaboration. I love to write songs with other people. Uh, most of my songs on the album I co-wrote. I just love the energy it brings to kind of work out ideas with other people. Um, I feel like it always helps kind of make the song better, at least for me. Um, so I'm a huge collaborator and um, uh, Andrew and I actually wrote Hurt Like That together. In and Nashville a couple years first. ago. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first. It was, on, was it on Halloween? Sure. I think it was. 
I'm pretty Chain. sure we wrote it. Spooky. It'll... It's a bit spooky. Yeah, so that can, makes sense. You can hear it in the track. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little ominous, but um, yeah. So I'm a big fan. Nice. Big so fan. in addition to the collaboration in songwriting, do you tend to, like, do you guys have the chops to do production stuff and engineering stuff in house, or do you tend to collaborate with, with third party producers in order to create yeah, the record? Yeah, I, I work with uh, a lot of producers. I mean, uh, I definitely need their skill set. <laughs> I am not uh, able to produce on my own yet, but maybe one day I will. But yeah, Andrew one produces. A big, big co producer. Big co producer. Big fan of turning in the song and then somebody being Whoa. like, Let's like, just say, yeah. This is almost there. We're and a big then fan else. of co. Yes. You know, co-producing, co-writing, collaborating. Well done. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Man, well, dude, I'm having a great time here right now. You guys sound wonderful, and there's a lot more music to be shared off of Subject to Change. What's happening second today? Uh, the next song. Mm -hmm. The next song is called Shit Happens. This was actually the first single uh, from the album. So uh, here we are at the end of uh, you know this album kind of promo. So I'm excited to share this one with you. It's called Shit Happens. <laughs> Good guys get no credit And bad guys get all the praise And you get that house you wanted But it's just more empty space The happy couple you look up to Is getting a divorce Your ex is dating your best friend And you can tell he loves her more And I'm not trying to be all doom and gloom But sometimes shit just happens Worse than you can imagine Stop trying to make it make sense Sometimes shit just happens There's no real deeper meaning Let me save you the suspense Sometimes shit just happens And you learn to live with it By all means find the silver lining Make good out of the bad But don't tell me there's a reason That somebody lost their dad Yeah, I know it's hard to swallow that no one's in control No matter how you try and steer it Life's gonna throw you off And I'm not trying to be all doom and gloom But sometimes shit just happens Worse than you can imagine Stop trying to make it make sense Sometimes shit just happens There's no real deeper meaning Let me save you the suspense Sometimes shit just happens You might get cheated, get lost and defeated Find yourself looking for the cause of your pain But there's not always someone or something to blame Sometimes shit just happens worse than you can imagine Stop trying to make it make sense Sometimes shit just happens There's no real deeper meaning Let me save you the suspense Sometimes shit just happens And you learn to live with it Thank you Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, so there's probably a lot of the people that are tuned in right now are familiar with you from your acting career, and it's uh, always interesting to me to find out how those two things are balanced. I mean, do you find that balancing your acting demands versus your music demands are sort of exercising the same part of your brain? Is it like an extension of the same version of the same thing, or do you sort of compartmentalize those two things and take time for acting and then time for music? It's kind of, it's kind of both. Like, I, I mean, it's like, it definitely requires some compartmentalization. <laughs> um, because, yeah, like when I'm working on a song or when I'm playing a show or when I'm touring or doing something in music, I do have to kind of focus all my energy on that. And then when I have like an acting job, I'm in that or I'm memorizing an audition or whatever it is, it does kind of require them to be separate, but creatively it feels like kind of an extension of a lot of the same muscles. Like 
you know, kind of getting to know a character is sort of exploring their world. And that's kind of what we're doing in songwriting in a lot of ways of just like kind of trying to mind the emotion and figure out what's there and tell a story. And so there's a lot of similarities, but um, yeah, a lot of times I'm a bit stressed. <laughs> it's trying to balance the two, but um, I enjoy both. So I keep doing them both. What is the, so on the set of Ballers, is it, do you guys get to hang out and spend time with each other? Like, is Rob Corddry as delightful to spend time around as he seems like he would? hundred percent. Rob is amazing. I am such a fan of him and we had a lot of scenes together. Um, so it was really fun to get to play with him on the show and like do scenes and watch him improvise a new line every take. And <laughs> I feel like I learned a lot about acting and comedy and um, just getting to be around him was really cool. And then obviously, you know, The Rock would come in and shoot and then peace out pretty immediately. But he was very nice. And um, he wasn't like he is. Never mind. <laughs> He's huge. Yeah, man. He but seems I was that literally way. expecting like the Hulk, yeah. and obviously he's not that. But he's—I don't want to, it to get out there that the I don't think the Rock is as big as he seems. <laughs> I was gonna be well, like, wow, well, interesting. Online, it's like I'm really trying to start some controversy here tonight. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he was like ten feet tall. And yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, I like, was like, wait, you're not. Every shirt was ripping. Like, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, but he was super nice. It was such a fun experience and like show to work on. Nice, good. Well, yeah. I'm glad that you got to have that experience. Thanks. I'm really glad that you are creating this experience for us here right now. You guys sound tremendous together, and Thanks. there's still a lot more to be shared. What are you going to do third today? This is a song called At the Same Time. This is an unreleased um, song from the album. Uh, I wrote it with one of my favorite writer, artists, a uh, girl named Maddie Diaz. And um, yeah, I love her, and I love this song, and it's on the album, and I hope you like it. I love you and I hate you I need you till I don't I fix you and I break you Just when I barely got my grip, I start to lose Just when I think we won't make it out, we always do Every promise, every word to get here Every bit of truth in every lie Get a little closer, baby, it'll never come easy so many things can be true at the same time I give up, I keep going I come back and I'm gone And I don't know how to go through it But life keeps going on and on I don't know if it ever shows Then it turns out I know even less than I thought I'd ever know Every promise, every word to get here Every bit of truth in every life Get a little closer, baby, it'll never come easy so many things can be true at the same time I say things I don't mean Just trying to make peace, not trying to start a war Just trying to make peace with it I don't want to fight, not settle in a score Just trying to make peace with it Every promise, every word to get here Every bit of truth in every lie Get a little closer 
closer Baby, it'll never come easy So many things can be true at the same time So many things can be true at the same time Thank you. Excellent. Well done, you, Thank Caitlin. You. Well done, Maddie Diaz. That's a wonderful song. Thanks. Yeah. I know. I love it. I'm just a fangirl, really, as I sing that song. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, are there? So I know from uh, from chatting offline a little bit, you've got a headline show at uh, at the Mercury Lounge on December seventh in, yes. in New York, and we also know that there are a number of dates. This is public information. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. There, there's the, going to be some more dates in December coming soon wink wink um, and then I'm touring next spring with Johnny Swim okay so that is public info <laughs> we are, we are yeah. Always, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah that's out there public info um, we were supposed to be touring in October and we pushed it to the spring so I'm looking forward to it yeah yeah I'm vicariously looking forward to that on your behalf because Abner and Amanda are just two of the most delightful people just of the all time best. just the best yeah I'm, I love them so much, and I'm so glad they agreed to take me out on tour. <laughs> and I can't wait to actually do it. Um, yeah, they're the best. And what was, what was the genesis of that relationship between you and, uh, and Johnny Swim? I mean, so early pandemic, I started doing Instagram Lives like everyone else uh, in the world. Um, <laughs> and I started kind of doing these daily like Instagram Lives talking to other artists or the writers, whatever. And I um, just kind of kept doing it week after week because I was like, this is kind of fun. And I hit them up because we have some mutual friends. And I was like, would you guys want to come on my Instagram live? You don't know me, but I think it'll be fun. And of course, they were like super down to do it. And so we sort of met for the first time over Instagram live. And then they started doing these like live streams from their backyard. And they brought me on to sing a song for one of those last October, so a year ago now, um, and we just kind of became friends, and then I was like, y'all trying to tour, or <laughs> should I come, or like, it kind of makes up. sense, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so luckily they were like, yeah, okay, cool, yeah, this girl's gonna beg us until we say yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, yeah. Um, I like how you're describing this, like, it was like a hostage situation I, or something. I do, they, <laughs> look, I have some dirt on them, they don't want to get out. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, no, they're very just nice people, and they're, yeah, I just feel excited to do it, so... Yeah. 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 The genesis yeah. of our relationship was all, it was a very much backyard centric as well. We met yeah. in the backyard in Nashville we and it was outstanding. Backyards, and, you know, uh, they're yeah. great. Uh, they have a great backyard. So comfortable couple of people. And I hope the, the Stockholm syndrome situation works out wonderfully <laughs> between you guys. I have yeah, no doubt that like, it will. Hey, um, it's not going to work out. I should honestly <laughs> wait to say these things till after the tours. Cause there's a lot of time between now and the tour. They like, could be like, Hey, like we yeah. actually found someone else. <laughs> we heard, <laughs> we what, you heard said, what you said. Yeah. On the live stream. And we got, uh, never talk to you again. <laughs> Man, they have, I don't want to put words in their mouths, but I have a strong feeling that they have the, a similar amount of love for Pace Magazine and for us as we have for them. So I think we're doing nothing but strengthening that entire yes, thing right now. Yes, yes. Shout and, out uh, Abner and Amanda, Johnny Swim, yeah, the best. That's going to be a lot of fun. Good for you yep. guys for doing that. Thanks. And um, And we are still not done. There's still more of your music to be shared from Subject to Change right yeah. now. What do you feel like doing last today? So I'm going to do a song called Year From Now, which is also an unreleased one. Um, so uh, I hope some fans are watching. I hope you guys are excited because I'm excited to play these songs that I haven't played yet. Um, but yeah, the album comes out next week. And so you'll get to hear all these and more. And uh, yeah, thanks for having me. This has been super fun. Um, this is called Year From Now. <laughs> someone brings you up oh, I can't wait for the day to come all this 
Cheers to you, Caitlin, Cheers. and to Andrew as well. You guys sound wonderful together, so thank you for what you did. Um, congratulations in advance on Subject to Change, out a week from today, and uh, travel safely between the New York date at Mercury Lounge December 7th and all of the yet-to-be-announced uh, upcoming dates. And, uh, man, this has been a lot of fun. Let's, uh, yeah. let's do it again. Let's do it again, anytime. Thank you so much for having me. This has right. been super fun. Thank you. Thanks. All right. That is that. We did it. Yay!